Melatonin is a sleep aid that's easily accessible over the counter and it's cheap. It seems like the simplest and fastest solution for your sleep issues. Also, it's natural, so that means it's safe, right? Well, unfortunately, things are never this simple. In this video, I'll help you understand the ins and outs of melatonin, how it works in your body, and if taking its synthetic form can really help you sleep better. At the end of the video, I'll recommend three natural and safer alternatives. What is melatonin? Well, melatonin is a hormone that regulates your sleep-wake cycles. This hormone is naturally produced in the penile gland. However, in its synthetic form or as a medication, it's used for the short-term treatment of sleep issues such as insomnia, jet lag, or shift work. Evidence that melatonin supplements are beneficial for sleep is unclear. Despite claims by supplement manufacturers, melatonin has shown mixed results for treatment of any disease. It's not recommended for children, for women trying to get pregnant, or for breastfeeding mothers. Two studies conducted in 2017 showed that melatonin pills only help you fall asleep six minutes faster and stay asleep seven minutes longer. Total sleep time for some participants weren't even affected by melatonin pills at all. Melatonin's main job in the body is to regulate sleep-wake cycles. Whenever the sun goes down, your body temperature starts to decrease. Your body starts producing more melatonin, which signals the body it's time to prepare for sleep. Light decreases melatonin production, and it signals to the body it's time to prepare to wake. The human body naturally produces more than enough melatonin to sleep on its own. As we age, and especially once we reach the age of 54, natural melatonin secretion significantly decreases. Without melatonin, it would be impossible for us to sleep in a normal and healthy way. However, this doesn't mean putting melatonin in a bottle and selling it in the form of a pill will help solve your sleep issues. On the contrary, if you use it for a prolonged period of time, it will hurt your sleep rather than improve it. Before I explain to you why taking melatonin is a bad idea, I have to mention that you can easily buy melatonin over the counter in the US or Canada. However, in the UK, it's prescription-only medication and it's not FDA approved for any use. In Australia and Europe, online sources and some studies we found suggest that melatonin is approved for a sleep aid, although it's for people over the age of 54.3. So just as a reminder, 54 is the age that melatonin really significantly starts to decrease. However, other online sources indicate that you can obtain melatonin over the counter in Australia and other European countries such as Hungary and the Netherlands. Shouldn't we be worried about these tight regulations in other parts of the world? Well, it's definitely something to think about. Now back to the main topic. Although sold as a supplement, you should never forget that melatonin is a hormone and it cannot replace or help with natural production. On the contrary, it can only inhibit it. How exactly? We naturally only produce 0.25 milligrams of melatonin and melatonin pills come in the form of three milligrams, which is 12 times higher than normal. When we're overdosing our bodies with melatonin, our body has to react to this somehow and get rid of the excess. That's where the SCN comes in. The suprachiasmatic nuclei, SCN, is a tiny region in the brain in the hypothalamus responsible for controlling circadian rhythms. The SCN functions as a master circadian pacemaker, controlling the timing of the sleep-wake cycle and coordinating with other circadian rhythms in other areas of the brain and with other tissues to enhance behavioral adaptation. The suprachiasmatic nucleus contains a bunch of different neurons that circulate back and forth between different areas of the brain. The SCN also has melatonin receptors that circulate back and forth in the penile gland to help regulate melatonin secretion. Normally, the signals would be sent from the receptors to the penile gland in response to the environmental light-dark cycle. However, we take melatonin pills. And remember, the dose is 12 times higher than our natural production. We instantly trigger a reaction because melatonin receptors in the SEN become overloaded. So what happens next is the receptors signal to the penile gland to stop producing melatonin because we already have enough of it. This is how melatonin supplements inhibit natural melatonin production. And this is how you become dependent on it. By continuing to use melatonin, you put your body in a negative feedback loop. You may be thinking, okay, natural production is slowed, but I can, I can regulate that with pills. However, doing so is going to throw off the balance of other hormones in your body. Let's see how. Our hormones in our body work like a finely tuned machine. Hormones are responsible for key homeostatic processes in the body like the control of blood glucose levels and the control of blood pressure. Throwing off one hormone out of balance, in our case melatonin, will mess up the entire body and normal regulation of internal conditions within cells and organs. The body always has to be in perfect hormonal balance. For example, if your testosterone levels reduce, estrogen levels may rise to restore balance. The same thing happens when you use melatonin. When it gets high, another one's needed to balance it out. When you have higher doses of melatonin in your body than needed, this means that your body's gonna take much longer to clear it out. This also explains why you have a hangover effect when you take it. The sad thing is most people are used to this effect. They don't even know anymore what life is like without it. Is falling asleep six minutes faster and staying asleep seven minutes longer really worth all the side effects and risks? I don't think so. Also, the point of the entire story is that taking melatonin to induce sleep when sleep problems are not caused by a lack of it 
creates the opposite reaction. When there's too much melatonin in the brain, the synapses will become less responsive and cause more sleep problems. In that case, the effect of melatonin will become minimal. On average, you get eight minutes more sleep per night and fall asleep on average seven minutes faster. To really solve your sleep problems, you need to know what's causing them and address those. Scientists aren't sure exactly how melatonin affects other hormones in the body, but new studies aimed at finding out more are being conducted every day. According to research, overdosing leads to drowsiness and reduced core body temperature. Also, very large doses can have an adverse effect on the performance of the human reproductive system. In experiments conducted by Japanese researchers at the University of California, Berkeley, found that melatonin switches on a hormone that was recently discovered called the gonadotropin inhibitory hormone. GNIH has been found to have the opposite effect of the hormone prime in the body for sex gonadotropin releasing hormone or GNRH. Over time switching off GNRH causes the gonads, testes, and ovaries to shrink. The good news is the results of the study were observed on birds, but it's not unlikely it has the same effect on humans. We should be concerned because if melatonin can do this to one neuropeptide system, chances are it can do it to another. So what should we use instead of melatonin? Is there really a natural sleep aid that's safe? And can it really help us sleep better? Well, here's our top three alternatives. Magnesium, thionine, and glycine. Magnesium is a natural muscle relaxant that blocks the stress hormone cortisol in the brain and as a result produces a calming effect. On a chemical level, magnesium activates the parasympathetic nervous system, also known as the system responsible for getting you calm and relaxed. It regulates neurotransmitters which send signals throughout the nervous system and the brain and also supports the production of melatonin and gamma butyric acid or GABA. GABA is the neurotransmitter that's responsible for calming down nerve activity. It's also the same neurotransmitter used for sleep drugs like Ambien. By helping quiet the nervous system, magnesium prepares the body and mind for sleep. So instead of taking a shortcut and using a synthetic hormone, you should help your body naturally produce more melatonin. L-thionine is an amino acid found in tea leaves. L-thionine promotes relaxation and facilitates sleep by contributing to a number of changes in the brain, such as boosting GABA levels, lowering levels of excitatory brain chemicals, and enhancing alpha brain waves. The biggest benefit of this substance is at the same time it's increasing chemicals that promote the feeling of calm and inducing sleep, it's also reducing levels of chemicals in the brain that are linked to stress and anxiety. L-thionine also helps to restore the wake cycle, meaning you don't have to worry about the hangover effect in the morning. This supplement doesn't disrupt the natural stages of sleep and doesn't produce a sedative effect, simply a relaxing one. Glycine, also known as 2-amino acetic acid, is amino acid and a neurotransmitter. The body produces glycine on its own and we consume it through the food we eat. The amino acid aids in sleep by decreasing your subcutaneous temperature and cooling the body down. By reducing body temperature, melatonin and GABA levels go up, which induces sleep and helps improve the quality. Glycine also increases serotonin levels and serotonin is vital for promoting the natural production of melatonin. So there you have it. three different ways to fall asleep faster and stay asleep longer without using melatonin.